welcome to our new old house. So for those just catching up to our Home Green Home series, my wife Kathy and I are in the very early stages of discovering the efficiency deficiencies of our new old house. The blue is almost equivalent to the temperature of the exterior. We had an energy audit done, and now we're waiting to find out what we need to do and whether we can afford to do it. Meanwhile, I learned this week that the Sierra Club was lending its name to a new website, Sierra Club Green Home, which it says aims to help consumers create a more sustainable home environment. That's just the kind of information we're looking for. So I decided to come and check it out. We were invited by the Sierra Club folks to come down to this 35 story, 251 unit luxury condominium in lower Manhattan. It's called the Vision Air. It's one of New York's growing crop of green apartment buildings. It looks expensive. It boasts some pretty nice views, along with features like solar panels built right into the facade. And these panels uh, are wrapped all the way around the, the They're building. They're all the way around the building, so as the sun moves around, it's getting all the energy from the sun. No green building would be complete without a green roof, and much of the water used in the building <laughs> is reused on site. Down in the basement, a $1.8 million water treatment facility will recycle the building's wastewater. I got a tour from Jennifer Schwab of Sierra Club Green Home, who pointed out some of the green features of these apartments. We looked at the efficient appliances. So we've got a combo toaster oven and microwave oven. Built-in LED lighting and high efficiency windows. You know, this has a reputation of being the greenest high rise yeah. in the country. Yeah. Okay. The Visionaire might be cutting edge green, but at $1,300 a square foot, it isn't cheap. For example, this is a wool rug, which pure wool, wool is recyclable and is actually- And I began to wonder if I could afford to do any of this in my own home. So I asked Jennifer what an ordinary consumer like me could do. Well, I kind of have a joke because I have an acronym and it's CRAWL by CFLs. You place your conventional light bulbs with CFLs. That's C, okay? R, recycle. That's R. A, air seal. You can do this yourself. Seal up your windows, doors, and all yeah, all the air leaks. Then W, water reduction, okay? Turn off the tap while you're brushing your teeth. You can also reduce your energy uh, footprint through lighting. Turn off your lights when you leave the room. Very simple. You do those five things, as does the rest of America, we're going somewhere. There are more good ideas and eco-friendly tips on the Sierra Club Green Home website. Whether you're considering home composting or looking for an energy efficient appliance. So even if you can't gaze at commanding views of the city from your green rooftop while basking in the glow of your luxury building's solar panels, there are some inexpensive things you can do to make your home sustainable as well.